Welcome back to ChineseZeroToHero.com. Now let's take a look at a new grammar point. Let's say that you bought something really nice in Beijing two years ago. Okay, let's just say that you bought something really nice in Beijing two years ago. Now, somebody comes up to you and asks you, where did you buy it? How would you answer? Yeah, in Beijing, right? Or specifically, you can say, it was in Beijing where I bought it. And if people ask you, when did you buy it? You'll say, it was two years ago when I bought it, right? So these are questions asking for specifics about the past. And these are answers that are giving specific details about a past activity. So do you think it will be useful for you to give these uh, specific answers to these specific questions? Yeah, oftentimes we do ask these specific questions, right? Like, how did you learn Chinese? How did you get here? Did you get here by driving or by walking, right? Oftentimes we don't need the whole story, we just need a specific piece of information, right? So this is what we're going to look at today. Now please turn your textbook to page 114 and let's take a look at grammar point number one. To ask for specific questions, what you need to do is use this grammatical construction, 是, something, 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 的. For example, it was yesterday when I came. 我是昨天来的. 我是昨天来的. 昨天来 is the piece of information you're asking. And you're asking when did you come, right? 昨天 is yesterday, 来 is come. So 昨天来 is come yesterday. So you wrap that piece of information with 是 on the left and 的 on the right. So it becomes 是昨天来的. 我是昨天来的. It was yesterday when I came. 我是昨天来的. It was in Beijing where I bought this. 这个是我在北京买的. 这个是我在北京买的. 我在北京买 is the specific piece of information. Right? And you wrap that with 是的. 这个, this, 是, is, 我在北京买的, uh, what I bought in Beijing. Uh, this is something that I bought in Beijing. We drove here. Uh, we didn't walk here, we didn't fly here, we drove here. Okay, So it's by driving how we came here. 我们是开车来的. 开车来 is driving come, right? Drive come. It's by driving that we came here. 我们是开车来的. Further examples. How did you get here? By asking a question, right? How, do you, how did you get here? So remember, the answer is 我们是开车来的. Right? 我们是开车来的. Driving, right? By driving, we came here. So to ask a how question, you just change 开车 or driving into a 怎么, meaning how. Right? You simply just replace the answer with a question word. That's how questions work in Chinese. You just simply replace the answer with a question word in a sentence, and nothing else in the sentence changes. Nothing moves except for the question mark. Right? Uh, changes into 你们是怎么来的? How did you guys get here? 你们是怎么来的? Where did you guys meet? 你们是在哪儿认识的? 认识 means to meet. 在哪儿 is where. Right? 是在哪儿认识的? Where is it that you guys met? 你们是在哪儿认识的? 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 We met in school. 我们是在学校认识的. 我们是在学校认识的. Notice how nicely the question and the answer correspond to each other, right? It literally just changed like you to us and then change where to at school. 你们是怎么认识的? 我们是在学校认识的. Uh, these two sentences correspond very nicely to each other. When did you meet? 你们是什么时候认识的? Can you guess how the answer will be formed? When did you meet? 你们是什么时候认识的? 什么时候 means when, 认识 means meet. 是什么时候认识的 is when was it that you met? 你们是什么时候认识的? Can you guess how the answer can be formed? Yeah, 
You just replace 什么时候 with a specific date, right? 我们是二零一一年九月认识的。That's it. Ken, 我们是什么时候认识的？啊、uh, ，我们是二零零八年三月二十一号认识的。More example. How did you come to Beijing? 你们是怎么来北京的 ？I came by plane. 我是坐飞机来北京的啊。I came to Beijing by plane. 我是坐飞机 ，I mean sit on the plane. 坐飞机来 come 北京，北京的。我是坐飞机来北京的。All right, now time for a quick practice. How did you get here? How would you express that? You're literally saying you guys is by how. Get here, the. You guys is by how getting here, the. Hey, 你们是怎么来的 How did you guys get here? How do you say it was in Beijing? Where I bought this. So first you say this. You say this is I bought in Beijing, the. This is 我 This is 这个是我在北京买的。Thanks for watching. Now see you in the next video.